This is Patty. She's 19 years old. <laughs> this is Michael. He's also 19. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Our wedding is less than a month away. Are you listening? Yeah. My mom believes no man will ever be good enough for me. She's going to be crushed and her heart's going to be broken. My family doesn't hold back. I don't think you should get married, because it's foolish. What just happened? Everybody out! People, People think, think we're too young, young to get married, care, but, but we, we don't care. Generally, when we tell them we're getting married, they tell us that we're too young. I know it's going to work out. You're going to come back in 60 years, and we're going to still be holding hands right here in the same spot. That's what's going to happen, and that's a promise. When we first met, we were both in high school. I was 15. She was 14. I didn't like him at all. Yeah. At all. I was uh, cocky in high school. I was really cocky. I yeah, was, he was, I was kind of a jerk. I, I was <laughs> Why are you throwing like a little girl? Because my nail got stuck. We'd only been dating, like, I think less than a month, and he was at a bonfire, and he had gotten drunk, and I get a text message that says, I love you, period, I'm gonna marry you, period. But I wasn't just full of crap when I said it because I was drunk. Ball's not heavy enough to throw that hard of a hook. Ball's not heavy enough. He actually has, like, an amazing soft side. He gave me um, this fair, it had a poem attached to it. It said, when I see your beautiful face, I stand still held in place. When I hear your soft voice, I feel, but I have one choice. When I look into your pretty eyes, I wish I could whisper a million sighs. There's no doubt in my mind that I'll love her till the end of my days. Okay, thank you. The status um, right now in line is engaged, and it's actually been like engaged for like uh, 18 months now. So I am quite ready to change it to married. When I first told my mom that Mike and I had talked about getting married, she said I was crazy. And I don't think she actually thought we were gonna go through with it. 19 is a very young age to get married. Mike is a nice guy. I like Mike. But no one will ever be good enough for my daughter, ever. Michael thinks he's ready to get married right now. I don't think he's ready to get married right now. I think he's too young. Stop crying. <laughs> Since my parents died, my grandmother's been my whole world. You know, when my parents passed away when I was a kid, I had nowhere to go. She could have let me go in the streets. She could have let me be in foster care. I could be off in the streets selling drugs. I could be dead in a ditch. I could be anywhere. But she made sure that didn't happen. He's my baby. I've had Michael and his brother, since his mother and dad passed away. They passed away six months apart. I get sad a lot of times. I think about his dad, and his dad just adored Mike. Put Mike's just way. looking for so closeness, you know, Mike, togetherness and closeness. I think if my brother was here, Mike wouldn't be getting married. No, he wouldn't. I just think that he's still a little bit lost. Today I'm going shopping with my mom. We are going to shop for negligee, as she calls it, for the night of the wedding. So yeah. let's shop. You like that? Yeah. If we're going to have fun, we might as well have fun all the way. We're here. Let's pick out some whips and chains, handcuffs. <laughs> my grandma is completely nuts. She's a riot. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think you're going nuts. <laughs> you do, huh? <laughs> Michael thinks he's ready to live with one girl for the rest of his life, but... How can you tell what's going to happen tomorrow? You might run into somebody that knocks you right off your off. feet. Let's see. I'll show you what it's going to look like. I'm Patty. Pull that down for me. Bob. Thank you. Put down, Mike. What's the matter with you? <laughs> I hope they make it. I have my doubts, and I hope they prove me wrong. What do you think? Oh, you think you look good in that? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna listen to her opinion, I'm gonna respect it, but I'm not gonna hold my whole life off because one person tells me I should do something. Wrap it up, he'll take it. I love hanging out at home probably now more than when I lived there. My mom loves doing renovations. I completely hate it, but today I am going to attempt to help her in the basement. You know, Patty, now that you're getting married and everything, you're gonna have less and less time for me, so when I have these projects, I'm gonna be alone. I'm not going to miss these projects. It didn't go all the way through. 
Well, you need to know how to do these projects, especially down here in the basement, because Oops. if things don't, no, that's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. Because if things don't work out, this will be your bedroom, see? So we'll have to get it ready oh, just in you, case. Oh, thank you, Thank you know? for being so optimistic. I think it is so hard for my mom to let go of me because her and I have been there through everything. Um, I was there when she got married and divorced twice. She didn't like when I moved out. I love my mom, but she's kind of like a control freak. I know she's gonna be really sad when I get married, but shortly after she will realize that it's nothing's gonna change. We're gonna come over the same amount, so she, I think she'll be okay. I, you know, I just hope that that it's a good choice and you don't mess up the rest of your life by doing something too early. I think we're gonna be just fine. Every parent wants the best for their kids. They always want their kids to have better than they had. You know, you want to protect them and keep them safe. Yeah. Are you okay? Another piece. I felt really bad for my mom when she started crying. I don't want her to ever feel like I'm abandoning her or leaving her behind. Tell me if this sounds good. I got the DJ for 500, and that's my mom paying. Okay. Uh, I got the reception for 1500, which is also my mom. The wedding is coming up ridiculously fast, and there's still like a sh ton of stuff to do. And so I literally spend every single day on the computer, in the binder, planning, planning, planning everything. The photographer for 700, which we put our first deposit down on her, right? Yes. Okay, and then Mike helps out a lot, but not as much as I wish. Are you listening? Yeah, I was thinking about it. As far as uh, the wedding planning, this is how he's involved. I say, hey, babe, I'm going to do this. What do you think? OK. All right, that sounds good. Sounds good to me. Hey, Mike, can you come over here? I'm trying to figure out the seating arrangements. Yeah. I work at an auto plant. I porter cars. When you work 60 hours a week, it's kind of hard to sit at home and organize stuff. Can't be like, can I go? I am currently unemployed. I got laid off. Um, so I'm looking for a job, I guess. The one person who's been helping us out a lot for this wedding is my mom. Hey, mom, did you put the final deposit on Scott for the DJ? Yep, I mailed it last week. If my mother was not able to pay for a lot of our wedding, we would not have a honeymoon. For our honeymoon, we are going to Disney for three nights and four days. On a scale of one to 10, um, I'm, pr I'm probably like 11, excited about going to Disney. I've never been. I've, she's yeah. been there like five million times. I've never been to Disney. I've, I don't even know what to expect. So, Mike, um, is your family gonna help out any with the with the wedding uh, cost, or do you know? No, my mom said she couldn't afford it. All right, well, I just was wondering. Mike's side of the family has not been able to give us any money. It sucks that his family can't help us financially, which is what we need. Are you sure you want to get married? Yeah. You, you know why? Yeah. You see what we're doing with these? That's a mistake. Thank you. are hanging clay targets. You know what you're doing? You're hanging yourself. Here, Mike, you want some string to hang yourself up some more? <laughs> <laughs> My family, we're pretty interesting. The line's going out. Ears on. I can't hear you. What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I can't hear you. Guns is a pastime of my family. It's just a big family fun time. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Ah, shut up. Oh, that's duck. We're just a rowdy bunch, we are. Say no to drugs, just say no to marriage. And definitely say no to breeding. Do not breed. <laughs> I don't think neither one of them are mature enough to get married. So listen to me. Wedding I ain't fun. ever listening to you because you're full of shit. The wedding is fun. The receptions are awesome. The divorce parties are much better. When you compare the two families, it's like night and day. The families don't really talk. They don't get along. Clear, clear, clear. What I've seen of Patty's mother, she's not a very friendly person like we are. Mike's grandma, I feel that she is disrespectful to my daughter, and I don't like it, so I stay away. She's on my number one list oh. if she's mean to you. Oh, yeah? It ain't that I dislike Patty. Patty's OK in my book. She's just young and immature. And Mike listens to her too much. She's controlling. And Mike's dumb. I honestly hope that our families can get along. I fear if they don't get along at the wedding that this is how it's going to be for the rest of Mike and I's life. and anxious about the wedding. I want everything to be perfect. Wait, do you have all this memorized? Today we are at the candy store so we can get all of the candy for the candy table. Stop it, you're gonna get us in trouble. No, leave me alone. 
Try this. Try this thing. It is very stressful shopping with him. How is it very stressful shopping with me? Oh, I don't like gumballs. Oh, well, now you do. You like feeling like you're a child, don't you? <laughs> you see what I got to put up with 24-7, constantly ridiculed? That's cute. Can you catch it? Good <laughs> bet. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Today is my bachelorette party. So I'll be going to get our nails done and our feet done. <laughs> This is why I don't get my turn. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. It's uh, my last party with all my girlfriends before I get married, so I'm pretty excited. Jackie's my maid of honor, and Florina's my bridesmaid. Actually, Jackie is my third maid of honor, my first maid of honor. Her and I were best friends for like seven years, and then I woke up one morning to a, like a seven-page text message telling me she didn't support us, she didn't like Mike. Jackie is extremely supportive about me getting married. Jackie, trade for some pretty purple beads. I'll take some green ones. I don't want to hit anybody. Okay, look out. Oh Did my it. gosh, that was so good. There you go. Are you enjoying this? I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it very much, so. Thank God you can't reach oh mine, Patty. Okay. <laughs> so how old are you? I'm only 19. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to be locked down right now? Yeah, I, I don't see a problem. Like. I, I don't feel like I'm gonna miss out on anything or. Are you sure you don't wanna test the waters? I, I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Patty and I made a deal that it would make us both uncomfortable if either of us got a stripper, so we made a deal with no strippers at our bachelor and bachelorette party. I don't want some stripper her stuff in his face. Yeah, I know my family respects me enough, at least I hope they respect me enough to, you know, respect my wishes on the no stripper policy. <laughs> so we were just curious. If she shows up, you're leaving? I'm leaving. Since you couldn't have no strippers tonight, Wednesday night, after your little dinner, me and Johnny go to the Hunter Club. Can you go? I'm not going. Why? I want to go. See, I'm going. Hey. I'm going. I'm in. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. in. When people razz me, it doesn't bother me. My family's just got that type of sense of humor where we pick on each other all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a Huckleberry. Yeah. Are you going to leave now? <laughs> We're just having fun with him. We gotta harass him. I mean, he's only single for a couple more days, and might as well give him all the we can give him now. We have a question. So after you get married, you wear the pants, right? That's what you're saying, right? I'm, I'm trying to clarify now. Sure. She's just gonna hold the belt. My brother is trying to give me advice about women, but I've heard it all a million times before. My advice is keep separate checking accounts. Hey, say it again. <laughs> say it again. Always keep Spanish. My mom talks like this all the time, so I was definitely used to it. All right, ladies, what would be one good piece of advice that you can give my daughter to help her stay married in a happy marriage? I'm going to say, wait until you get older. Because me, <laughs> at that age, I don't think I could do it. I needed to live life, and I feel like somebody needs to grow up first before they make a grown-up decision. That's very good advice. That was very good advice. We're all here having a good time. All of a sudden, Tommy come home from dinner. This is a boring party. I gotta tell you what I think about you getting married. Oh, God. Why do you guys gotta let him do this when he's drunk? Tommy was pretty drunk. He got pretty rowdy, too, you know. <gasps> My mom was completely fine and thought it was funny like the rest of us, and he got a belligerent and saw I got a little irritated because he was falling all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. Tommy! Let go of him, Rock, kick your but I mean now. Right. And then she started getting upset. I'm about to f you up if you don't stop right oh, now. Gonna... I actually at one point contemplated. I'm like, all right, he's getting too obligerant. I'm about to call Patty and just tell her, okay, come get me. I'm done. This is Mike's bachelor party. So yeah. shut up and well, sit down. down. But then my grandma stepped in and was like, all right, you need to chill out and lay down. Hey, stop it! I got to go. What just happened? Mom, please. Mom, please. Mom, please. Mom, please. At Mike's special party, he was texting me almost all night, and at one point I got a text message that was like, Tom just ruined my party. I never would have thought he would have actually done that. Everybody out. Come on, everybody out. Tomorrow is the rehearsal dinner. Mike's family will not be attending. So why aren't the brothers going to be in the, the wedding? Um, because I felt like I wanted somebody to take my wedding seriously, and when they started joking about it, 
That's why. I am missing my family a little bit. Oh, 75. Did Mikey invite you to the rehearsal dinner? I didn't even know they were having one. 22. Well, why are we even going to the wedding if we ain't invited to nothing else? It's still up in the air. We could not, we could be missing in action the day of the wedding. I know that. And then we're like, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. And we hold the flowers. You hold the flowers, I hold your hands. No, I give them to Jack. Hopefully they won't set me with the other side of the family. I have nothing to say to them. We have nothing in common. Well, I kind of forced them to sit, my mom and his grandma to sit together. I put them at the tables next to each other. She must not put us next to her family because the Better will be, be seated next to him. Thank you, everyone, for coming and supporting us, and it really means a lot. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I'm getting a little bit, just a little bit anxious and a little bit nervous. Today is my wedding day, and already I'm stressed because little things like this are just not going perfectly. This chair cover is completely 100% wrinkled. Florina has the responsibility of taking the wrinkles out. So she has to definitely get down here and do the rest of the chair covers. You can work on the cane table. I'll go deliver these to her, and when she's done, she can do the rest. I would really like if Jackie and Florina just kind of listen to what I say. Um, I do give them a little bit of creative freedom, but I want them to do what I want on the day of the wedding so I don't have any surprises. Hey, Florina, I got chair covers for you, like more of them to do. There's knots in some of them. Make sure the knots came out, because a couple of them, the practice ones, still had knots in them. So as soon as they're done, just bring them back, please. Thank you. But she's stressed out. I mean, obviously, it's her wedding day. I'm a little stressed. We just started my hair. I don't know how long it's going to take. I hate it. I hate my hair. It looks like crap. The lady left before she asked me how I liked it. Because remember, Jackie, she said, do you want me to make a bump so when you take it out, it'll fall? And I said, no. Yeah, I didn't want a bump. I just wanted curls. But I don't have time now. I was really specific. I said, I don't want it like this. And she laughed before I could tell her no. I don't want to hate my pictures. And I'm going to hate them if it looks like this. This is the worst nightmare ever. The hair and the makeup lady came back. Patty doesn't like a bump at all on her hair at all. She hates that. Can you get rid of the bump and make sure. it curly? Yep. OK. I don't like it. Come here. I, I want it tighter curls. Like, I don't like this. OK. And I, I don't like this bump at all. Okay. They told Patty, they assured her they would fix her up. They'd make it exactly like she wanted. Life was good again. Mike, how you feeling for the wedding? Oh, I feel good, huh? You seen this? Look damn good. I just wanted to give you this note. Mike gave it to me to give to you. Everyone seems to think we're on the road. Wrong road, but I'm sure we're on the right one. I'm ready to grow old with you. I love how you make all of my insecurities go away and you make me feel better about myself. When I am your husband, I will make sure that I make you the happiest wife on the face of the earth. I love you so much that words cannot explain the amount of love I have for you. That is so cute. If our families do not get along at the wedding, that would be stressful. Mikey, still got time to run. It's really important that they at least get along, at least for the wedding. I just can't wait to start living the rest of my life and enjoying the rest of my life and just living forever with her. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I can't wait. Will you, Patty, have Michael to be your husband? Will you love him? Comfort and keep him as long as you both shall live. I will. I, Michael. Hi, Michael. Take thee, Patty. Take thee, Patty. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful. And true. And true. I'd like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Ogden. I'm just really excited. I, I can't believe we actually did it. It's really exciting. I think it's good that Mike really loves her, and I know he's going to take care of her. Well, I think you made a mistake. I think they're too young. I hope I'm the best. I hope it works out fine. We just leave that as it stands. I put my mom and Mike's grandma close together, hoping that they would talk. It was really nice that Judy and I had the opportunity to talk. Mm. We worked out our differences. We had a nice long talk, very interesting talk and I appreciated that. So it all worked out. 
ladies and gentlemen, the cake cutting ceremony is. Don't get out of my dress. Don't get out of my dress. What? Don't get out of my dress. Oh! Oh, my dress. No, it's not. We'll it Jackie! Up. I need your help! Mike! What is your problem? You help me! What did you do? Let's go clean this up, like, with water. Even though he got cake on my dress, it'll be okay. It was red velvet. I got it off. He can live another day. I don't think it really could have turned out better. My family's here. We're all having a good time. Oh! This day meant the absolute world to me, and I'm so excited it came, and everything was perfect. I'm so glad we're married, because tomorrow we get to go to Disney World. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh, I'm, she's taken. Whoa! Who's grabbing? It wasn't me.